Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of the Generation Y. You're with me, Scott Sinjeta Keita. We are changing the cosmos and of course it's all about the acting industry. And with me is Paul Ogola, Nairobi Half-Life, Wazi FM, Sense8, what more to say, Mazen, Paul Ogola Karibu. Thanks so much for coming through to the Generation Y. It's a great place. Now you are... <clears throat> Uh, for lack of a better word, a renowned actor, of course. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Come on, don't try to be humble here. No, I, for real, I, I really, I don't think I'm that known. I okay, okay, it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a character of the Kenyan industry, maybe. Uh, when actors are not known, actors, great actors are not known, but they're realized by the, uh, say, international industry. But having featured in Sense8, having featured in uh, Wazi FM, uh, Nairobi Half-Life, plus um, uh, among other many things that you've, uh, you've, you've participated in in the acting industry. How, 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 did you, how did you start? When did your journey begin? When did you start having this desire to be an actor? I think acting has been my life mm -hmm. um, since I was young. Mm -hmm. I had to like, you know, evade so many situations and questions. Mm -hmm. Uh, for example, th there's a certain life I was supposed to live, mm -hmm. but now I couldn't live this life. And when somebody asks you, why are you not living this life? How would you get out of that situation? Uh -huh. You have to act your way. <laughs> you have to look good like, hey, come on. Uh -huh. what, who, who told you I'm not living this life? I can leave it. Yeah. I can leave it on yeah, stage. Live it. Wow. So you have to act your way. Mm -hmm. And you know, sat down and thought and say there's something there's something about me mm -hmm. that makes me want to like you know be bigger than whatever i am living right mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. talent mm -hmm. what's the talent it's uh, acting mm -hmm. i have to pursue this mm -hmm. so i uh, you know i went straight ahead with it well, when was this when were you still in primary school high yeah, school I, I primary high school and even after high school so of course you were in a, the drama team yes and I was everything in, a, in in primary school uh -huh. i was in this folk dance kind of thing you know, you remember <laughs> tradition? exactly yeah we, 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 we i was in that group then we went dancing from this there was a divisional level mm -hmm. district level wow. and just that moment i was waiting to travel to go to kisumu to perform uh, perform on the provincials uh -huh. They were disqualified. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> because somebody didn't wear uh, the right attire. We yeah. Oh, uh, God. Come on, man. I was supposed I mean, to, like, you know, the dream traveling. You exactly. Know it, was, it was amazing. It was, at the time, yeah. of course, going out of school, traveling. It was a big thing. It was, it was being part of the cool kids. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> it was, I mean, if you guys could travel from, I, I, my primary was in CIA. Mm -hmm. So if you could travel from CIA to Kisumu wow. in a bus. Uh -huh. A, I mean, you know, use a, a legend. <laughs> <laughs> but now we, we, we never traveled. But, we never traveled. But it must have crashed your dreams. I mean, you. Yeah, it, it, yeah. it, it did. And mm -hmm. it didn't stop mm -hmm. there. I went to high school. Mm -hmm. And when I was in Form 3, that's when I got that opportunity to be, uh, uh -huh. to be casted in a uh, mm -hmm. high school drama group. Mm -hmm. It was a play called Alcatraz, mm -hmm. written by a group in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. My high school was not in Nairobi, mm -hmm. by the way. Mm -hmm. it, it was in Bondo, mm -hmm. Nyanza. Mm -hmm. And uh, this play, we performed it. Then we reached the districts. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what, guys, we're going to Nairobi. Wow. <laughs> to Nairobi to perform at the Bombers, no, was it Bombers of Kenya? Bombers of Kenya, yeah, I remember One that. of the two. I was like, you know what? That was I for the, uh, I think, 2000 and... 2006. Six. Yeah, six, yeah. 2006. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, we're going to Nairobi, guys. Let's wow. do this thing. Wow. We did our thing. We performed a show. It was a great show. Alcatraz is a show about some prison. You know Alcatraz? Uh -huh. Alcatraz, yeah, the movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was a play about that prison mm -hmm. and, you know, the activism and all that. Wow. So we were waiting for the results. What? So we went back to school. Usually a, a, yeah, a, tense, had... a tense field moment was it? Yeah, one of the main <laughs> cast. So whatever you do, I have to travel yeah, with you. <laughs> exactly. So we're waiting for the results. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're waiting for our high school to go to Nairobi and we were number four. What? Yeah. <laughs> Number one and two, three were the only ones who were allowed to travel. Oh, man. Another thing, I mean, it crushed my dreams. And I told myself, mm -hmm. after high school, mm -hmm. I have to find this group that wrote this play. Mm -hmm. They're in Nairobi, right? Mm -hmm. I'm, 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 
I'm going no, to find the group that won the play. Yeah. That wrote the play. Oh, that wrote the play. It's called Galaxy Players. Uh -huh. So after that, I came to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. That's in 2007. Mm -hmm. And I found them. They are situated in um, Eastlands, Jericho, mm -hmm. church called St. Phillips. Mm -hmm. I found them, joined, joined the group, and uh, that's why I began. Wow. Like, that's, uh, that was the first point, the first time you ever had a real experience in acting. Exactly, yeah. Amazing stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great story because uh, considering the acting scene in Kenya, it's not really easy to make it, yes, uh, especially for an upcoming actor. Uh, but just again, looking at your story, how many auditions did you have to go to, to just get to where you are? <laughs> 70 auditions. 70 no auditions. 70 auditions. Wow. I went to each and every auditions I heard of. Wow. And there are approximately seven auditions, and I qualified for. Until date, mm -hmm. I've qualified for only like seven. What? So like sixty-three auditions, gone just like that. I even went for Vitimbi auditions. Ah. For you to know how, <laughs> how rough it was. I went to Vitimbi, uh, and there's one thing. Uh -huh. There's one thing that I always appreciate in this life. Mm -hmm. Mama Kayai herself, she mm -hmm. told me yeah. after the auditions, mm -hmm. like you, you, you know what. I've seen your, yes, the way you're acting. Mm -hmm. This is not a place for you. Mm -hmm. She told me that. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I didn't, I took it wrongly then. Oh, you mean, like, like, I don't have crazy so, yeah, acting. You think I, <laughs> I can't do this. Yeah. yeah, but now I look, whatever that lady told me, mm -hmm. it makes a lot of sense. Because everything uh, was comi comical. It like, was, yes. Yeah. I'm funny. Uh -huh. Not funny like but most of your characters are I usually know. very yeah, but serious exactly. characters, very but intense. She, yes, mm -hmm. whatever she told me, mm -hmm. really, I, I, I grew up and understood it, that actually she meant something really, really wise. So, so what does it take to be a good actor? Does it? Uh, do, do you have to have skill? Like for you, when she told you that you can't, you're not fit for this. I think uh, what did she mean that you're not fit for the acting, or you're not? What, what did she mean when uh, you came finally to realize it? At that moment, mm -hmm. what uh, what I think I lacked was discipline. Mm -hmm. Just to take whatever she told wow. me, wow. whatever she told me, positive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the second thing that makes that is supposed to make each and everyone good mm -hmm. people in life mm -hmm. live alone actors is perseverance persistence and patience oh, wow those are three p's that i've been working mm -hmm. with all my life perseverance persistence and patience yes you Amazing. have to know that that time you've set for you to be somebody great mm -hmm. is not the exact time life has for you mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. you have to identify you have to identify your 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 uh your channel where you're supposed mm -hmm. to make it mm -hmm. and when you've identified it will take a lot of time mm -hmm. and since it's going to take all this time it's not gonna happen if you only do it once mm -hmm. you have to keep on doing it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so we have mm -hmm. all the, we have patience uh -huh. we have you keep on doing it uh, persistence, persistence. And you have to persevere persevere keep keep going exactly keep going and <coughs> if you're going to lose hope then don't start Wow. That process. Wow. Just stop. I haven't reached yet. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm still struggling. Mm -hmm. I mean, the things that I uh, people expecting from me. Right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. They think, they think I'm, uh, uh, I'm so. By now, you should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should be riding on a big car, you know, living on a, a <laughs> exactly. mansion. Exactly. That's a dream I want for myself. I'm not gonna stop until I get that dream you think mm -hmm. I should be living. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm still persevering through all that. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna make it. Exactly, what what you're saying is totally true because a lot of actors, young actors are coming into the industry yeah. expecting, hey, I'll just get to the screen and the next minute I'm driving a Lamborghini or something, That's you know. So uh, have you have you had the, a challenge, say, um, uh, explaining to your friends, your relatives, the, the difference between being on screen and the reality of your life? Um, I don't think, I don't think even if we explain to them, mm -hmm. they'll understand. Mm -hmm. I don't think they would understand it that way because most of the le, let me just start from the point you said a lot of young actors are coming. yeah 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 why are they coming mm -hmm. they're coming to waste their time they're coming to like mm -hmm. you know let me stay here as I'll I see. wait for my results exactly let me come here as I wait for my college mm -hmm. fees mm -hmm. it doesn't Look, work this is like a that. career mm -hmm. you know this is a career there's no way you can get out of whatever place you are from mm -hmm. to come and be a poster boy on the screen mm -hmm. thinking you're gonna make it mm -hmm. you <laughs> look man mm -hmm. if you're not a doctor you're not it's true if, if i don't say surgeon, let me let me try and be a doctor for if a you're while not a surgeon, <laughs> you can't take that patient over there and uh -huh. 
you can't treat her yeah. leave her alone yeah. leave this profession alone you're mm-hmm. not an actor don't do it mm-hmm. every every child is born with some kind of genius mm-hmm. and acting is one of them mm-hmm. talent being a doctor is a talent mm-hmm. acting is a talent mm-hmm. everyone is born i mean you you, you can you can't you can't gamble with it. yeah it's true yeah it's so true. the only thing that will distinguish you from any other actor mm-hmm. is your discipline yeah. mm-hmm. your repetition mm-hmm. all that and your skill perhaps and your skill mm-hmm. but i say this mm-hmm. talent is nothing mm-hmm. without discipline wow amazing amazing yeah, stuff so you know we have it, we have everyone and everything in this industry mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. we for you to be that one person mm-hmm. there are aspects and principles you have to put in yourself mm-hmm. for you to go far amazing stuff how do you stay how do you stay grounded uh, being where you are right now of course looking at your journey yeah. all that struggle that you put in how do you stay grounded because of course it's uh, it's it's tempting to just say hey mazemi mbefika i can do it no one should tell me what to do i mean <laughs> i understand the the only way i mean <laughs> it's you to know where you're supposed to go mm-hmm. if if i was coming here mm-hmm. and you just told me to alight at uh love mm-hmm. mm-hmm. i can't stay there and start clapping uh-huh. uh, like you know what i'm home <laughs> I'm ho- <laughs> no i was supposed to get uh, yeah. to tv uh-huh. tvc yeah i'm not here yet yeah. so yeah. why should i start clapping mm-hmm. at the loving tone more mm-hmm. so until that day i will reach uh, the destiny of my dreams uh-huh. i will start clapping and it de- it depends with uh, the point you will start clapping uh, uh, from uh-huh. i can start clapping from town where uh-huh. i'm supposed to pick my matatu uh-huh. or i can clap at uh, uh, lavington mall or i can just reach here uh-huh. and say hi man i i reach uh, this I place and yeah, yeah. i'm fine uh, I'm, i'm clapping now because i reached here uh-huh. so it's just the, the understanding yeah, yeah. of where am i going uh-huh. i'm going somewhere mm-hmm. and am i there yet no i'm not even after sensei i'm not yet there mm-hmm. because sensei to me is like an audition to the international world. wow yeah i'm mm-hmm. auditioning myself to the international world mm-hmm. and for them to know that i'm capable of something mm-hmm. so i'm just praying so hard for somebody to like you know realize that there's somebody now mm-hmm. uh, in kenya mm-hmm. who can work wow let let us get him let us tap into that and now let us <coughs> put him in this particular mm-hmm. platform mm-hmm. because i am nothing mm. compared to whatever i'm doing amazing stuff amazing stuff happening here on the generation why you're tuned into the generation why with me scott sinjeta kate we'll be right back <laughs>